If you're watching this video, I'd like to say congratulations. You're about to enter one of the most realistic and challenging MMORPGs of your gaming career. If you're wondering, why is that? Well, it's simple. For the next five hours, you'll be nothing but a humble peasant living in the Middle Ages. And we all know why the Middle Ages was a difficult time, right? To ease your medieval growing pains, we're making an introductory guide for players. Off we go. Fasten your leather seatbelts and get ready. It's now time for your first five hours in life is futile. See that fancy green surrounding you? That's our beautiful wilderness, my friend. Yep, it's grand in appearance and all around, but hey, don't fear it, embrace it. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next conqueror of this land. Before journeying elsewhere, set up your controls. For a mouse-based view, press Tab and press WSD to walk. If you want a coffee break or you're in a safe area and don't fear aggressive animals, simply press NumLock and your character will automatically run until your next command. Press C to switch into a third-person view. Feeling a bit narcissistic? No problem. Press V and you'll find quite the handsome fellow. When playing rough, press R to take your battle stance. But these are just the first steps of your epic adventure through the Middle Ages. Please, take your time and explore the surrounding world as long as you want. Now that we're done with the basics, it's time to step up our game and face the harsh realities of medieval life. First, we'll need to settle a camp. We'll start by setting a campfire. Cooking some hearty food keeps your character warm, healthy, and strong. Snap off a fistful of branches from nearby trees and find a cozy spot for your future camp. And finally, light a fire. Campfires are critical to your livelihood within Life is Feudal. Don't forget to add fuel to your fire to maintain its life-enriching heat. Next, gather some edible food from the land. Apples and berries will suffice until you've had the chance to devour some appetizing meat. But wait, you're graced with a handful of free cookies in your pocket. Yay! Eat them to avoid hunger and begin your medieval eating experience in the sweetest way imaginable. Now, let's craft several tools to prepare for medieval manual labor. Once again, snap off branches from nearby trees and look for the necessary ingredients of your desired tool. Flintstone, plant fiber, whatever the resource, discover it across the game's expansive landscape. Plant fiber can be found right under your feet. And as for flintstones, head towards the mountains for your answer. Then, craft your materials together. Success! You've got a tool to work the land and settle a camp. Here's a quick list of some tools you'll encounter throughout the game. An axe for woodcutting, a knife for skinning game, a shovel for digging, a hammer for building structures, a rod for fishing, and a pick for mining. Explore to discover every necessary resource in-game. Just don't stand there. Move! Life isn't quite as bleak as you had imagined, right? Yet we can't help but notice that something, rather someone, is out of place. You're in the forest and absolutely alone exploring this massive and beautiful world. What a bummer. Think there's a way to solve this loneliness? There is, of course! Socialize! While going through real life alone is often difficult, it becomes even more challenging in Life is Feudal, MMO. 
Seriously, in the Middle Ages, it's near impossible to handle every medieval obstacle on your own. And that's why we highly recommend finding a couple of companions with whom to conduct all business on your way to building a strong and cohesive society. Together, your productiveness will skyrocket. Don't fear communication because soon enough, you'll see the benefits of working with friends. Word up! You're a medieval champion, not some brute caveman, right? After finally finding a couple of friends willing to take on the world with you, get together and build a house. A well-built house provides you and your companions with a perfect shelter, a cozy place to stave off strong winds, heavy rains, and frigid snow. Be wary, though. A home can be the object of envy among troublesome neighbors. Remember, despite having the luxury of a home, life is futile, right? You cannot build structures on uneven ground. First, properly level some ground if you and your crew want to build anything in this world. Players can morph the ground according to the laws of physics in any way they prefer. Go on, grab an axe, and strike your way to victory. And yes, mind your back. You and your friends are doing well, but to turn your settlement into a well-organized community, all necessary duties should be divided among different players. You're feeling like a hunter. That's great. Now, go chase some animals in the woods or gather some tasty apples when that elusive game has escaped you. Pent up with anger and frustration? Looking to take it out on others in some good old-fashioned ultraviolence? Then bring it on. Alex Delarge, as you can always pillage and loot strangers. But be careful, even in the Middle Ages, no one loves a criminal. Your father was a lumberjack and you want to follow his legacy. Awesome! Cut trees like there's no tomorrow. But watch out for death by a falling tree. That's a rather terrible way to go out, even in the Middle Ages. Got a green thumb and want to put it to work? Become a farmer and harvest your community's crops. The best way to everyone's heart is through their stomach. So grow plentiful crops and make all your friends happy. The bottom line? Order is everything. As you can see, life in medieval times isn't paradise. Truly, it's a challenging and intensive life experience. But no matter what role you play in, life is futile. All these difficulties are essential challenges you'll overcome on your road to power and glory. Here, you can be a cold-hearted killer, murdering and looting all you encounter to reach the top, or scout lands as a fearless explorer, making great discoveries and raising territories for new empires to use. You could even be a warlike invader, conquering land and establishing your own kingdom, so you may proclaim yourself king over all who would dare to stand against your will. Maybe you're a leader. Create your own guild and lead your people to the spoils of victory. And if you just want to avoid the perilous dangers of adventures and wars, simply settle a small village and live a life of joy and peace. Write history, crush your enemies, take riches, and leave no doubts. Keep in mind, you'll only rise to be lord of this land with the help of good friends. Keep your comrades close and choose your path wisely.